Hari, hi, how are you doing? I think it's uh, uh, you know very uh, special and it's so beautiful uh, to connect with you all through the oils. And I'm happy to share about these oils, the purest oils, what I have read in the Bible. You know, it is so beautiful to uh, connect, uh, you know, the same oils, the purest oil through doTERRA. So beautiful. Actually, uh, I was reading the Bible um, from my childhood and I was going through all these oils. And actually, uh, I didn't know about the value, about the use of these oils uh, in the biblical times and how much they are effective to our mind, body, soul, also spirit. And how my, you know, our Lord, uh, Jesus also, you know, always, always filled uh, with that uh, fragrance uh, on his earthly life. So when I came to know all these things, uh, I want to thank uh, Suzanne, uh, because as soon as I text her, on, I met her on Facebook, text her and uh, she like, was very happy. Uh, to, you know, uh, be a part, make me a part of this, you know, doTERRA oils, essential oils journey. And I had only one oil at that time where my uh, friend had given me. And when I used that, it was like so beautiful. And I didn't know the value of that uh, until unless I read in the Bible. And then when I was reading in the Bible, I could, you know, um, came to know about all the oils that were used in those days. Essential oils have been around since at least 4,500 BC. They are nothing new. Thousand references to oils and herbs. 33 species are, uh, are in the Bible. And, you know, uh, when I uh, read that, it was so beautiful. And Genesis chapter 1 from verses 11 to 12, Word, W-O-R-D, word. Word is a vibration, a frequency, a consciousness, an expression of energy because we all stand on the word of God. Word has a vibration, frequency, and the expression of energy. As God spoke, uh, spoke forth vegetation on the third day of creation. What is vegetation? Plants, herbs. And, you know, uh, from what we are getting, this beautiful, essential, aromatic oils, he spoke a vibration of frequency and energy into them. That is what makes essential oils so special because God itself spoke on them. They are called essential because they are necessary for the life of the plant and contains the essence of the plant. If a plant has to live, it should have all the, all the qualities that God has already spoken walked into them. During Bible times, essential oils were used to promote health and healing of uh, body, soul, and spirit. We can use them for the same things today. It is so wonderful to know that the oils which, were, which our ancestors were using in those days, the same oils we can use today. Oils were a part of everyday life for them. And they can be a part of ours too. Essential oils are mentioned throughout the Old and New Testaments. Myr, for example, mirror is mentioned 156 times. Frank, frankincense, 81 times. Describing the oil of joy or gladness and how oils rejoice the heart. References to oils were often hidden uh, by other names such as incense. Like uh, we are not directly reading uh, the names of the oils in the oils, but uh, in the Bible. But uh, uh, we can read them as incense, perfumes, spices, or ointments. Oils were common and required no detailed explanation in those days. In the Bible also, it would be the same for us today with our uh, technology that is common technology, we simply do not need to uh, explain how to use a smartphone, right? It is already understood, like if someone is given the sm smartphone, how to use them. So it's the same, uh, uh, the oils also. They do not have to explain these gifts and their purpose. 
the reason of oils are mentioned throughout the bible is because for thousands of years oils were a part of people's daily life so wonderful to know that so wonderful to know and to you know experience how they uh, used to be you know the aroma for christ they are usually extracted through a uh, steam distillation they protect plants from disease and uh, provide uh, nutrients you know it's also called as man's first medicine they they are the life blood of a plant they can be found in uh, plants flowers stem like i'm i'm uh, telling what are like you know essential what are essential oils uh, from where we can extract them so they are extracted from plants uh plants flower stem leaves bark or fruit they are usually extracted through steam distillation as we all know they they protect plants from disease and provide nutrients it's called man's first medicine in ezekiel uh in the bible when we look at ezekiel 47 12 the leaves when crushes will create the essential oil that is you know uh essential oils or medicine we used to help our bodies and heal our ailments in also in revelation 22 2 again the leaves are for healing in mark 6 13 the mention of oils used in conjunction with prayer for healing in proverbs during bible times essential oils were used to promote health uh, and healing of body soul and spirit as all we know uh, as all we know so and and some things i want to uh, tell about uh, this essential oils uh, they are also uh, they are also used by like you know priests anointing and kings anointing in the bible uh, so here uh, just as we are physical we are spiritual just as as we are spiritual we are physical uh, jesus teaches uh, in the stories of food about the stories of food to teach us the physical aspects of who we are so then we can teach so then he can teach us the spiritual elements of who we are so now he comes from the uh, physical aspects of food and then he will turn it into a spiritual elements of who we are we are the sons and daughters of the most high god so beautiful since so many illnesses and are derived from negative emotions that have lodged and remain in the tissues as the memories refuse to leave they affect our outlook in life causing tension high blood pressure depression inflammation toxic feelings soon develop into uh, you know a, a bomb of disease like you know that will be stored in in our uh, you know what you say soul and then it will create into a disease a chronic disease so these essential oils were very useful in those days and uh, essential oils does not provide a cure for diseases rashes or illnesses it can support the conventional treatment of various conditions in biblical times leprosy was the most dreaded disease in the uh, palestine like ancient palestine uh, it is the picture of sin a graphic object lesson anointing with the oil is one of the law of cleansing uh, the lepers anointing with oil which uh, typifies the work of holy spirit in our salvation experience so in the old testament when 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 a, a patient or a sick person is anointed with oil like the holy spirit has come upon him and he is healed so it it represents the healing over there anointing a person with oil pictures the uh like you know holy spirit coming upon him for a designated purpose to show that he has been fully restored to resume his place as members of the family of israel in those days so there is also a priest anointing and a king's anointing also see whatever whatever they want to represent in the society they use these oils and uh, and you know when when we think about the oil in the bible we just uh, you know think about the olive oil but olive oil was commonly used but you know uh, it was never used by itself but mixed with aromatic oils as it yeah the commonly used word for masak it's a hebrew word which is similar to our english word called massage 
yeah so there is there are beautiful things that we can learn from the bible and you know use of essential oils you know and and uh, anointing what is the meaning of anointing in the hebrew means to cover to rub to smear over the head or body with oil you know we have all the all the you know, basic foundation of using these oils uh, it's so beautiful to know that thousands of years ago our ancestors taught us the gift of the earth how to use like god has already provided provided us um and uh, you know and essential oils have several natural chemical constituents found in nature three of the most important are uh, anahoba uh, phenyl propanide right phenyl propanides uh, sesquiterpenes monoterpenes and you know i want to do more research about this <laughs> and i think you can also do your research right so beautiful uh um and and uh, telling about the bible uh, uh and the essential oils it's beautiful that uh, when we are reading the scriptures uh, you will not find the actual words essential oil written you will see direct refer references such as aloes balm cassia frankincense myrrh hyssop and indirect descriptions such as holy incense ointment spices sweet savors and perfumes and 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 somewhere i have read like you know jesus dress was always you know covered with the sweet aroma of cassia and aloes and myrrh he was always covered with that I, you know when i read that i was literally you know i had those oils with me and i was uh, a cedar wood i always apply to my hair knowing that jesus is always with me it's so beautiful to know <laughs> and one thing is like you know essential uh, essential oils are used as aromatherapy inhaling you know that and um, uh, people in the holy land understood the use of essential oils in maintaining wellness and physical healing as well as the oils in, uh, ability to enhance their spiritual state in worship prayer and confessions and for cleansing and purification from sin uh, also in the biblical times essential oils were inhaled applied to the body and taken internally uh, which the benefits extended to every aspect of their being aroma therapy oils can provide uh, respiratory disinfection decongestant and psychological benefits inhaling essential oil stimulates uh, the olfactory system the part of the brain connected to smell including the nose and the brain <laughs> how beautiful it is connected the plant the nature the oil and our body how beautiful god has created us it's a wonder i just stand in awe of wonder how how beautiful he is who can fathom his knowledge yeah wisdom <laughs> molecules that enter the nose or mouth pass through the lungs uh, and from there other parts of the body i know little bit of science because of because i am a science student <laughs> as the molecules and i have also read and you know studied so much and you know i have known this uh, when the molecules reach the brain they affect the limbic system when i read this limbic system i thought of anna <laughs> she she knows very well which is linked to the emotions you know her emotions hormones her emotions and i'm so grateful to you i've learned so many you know things from you Uh, <laughs> the heart rate a uh, blood pressure breathing memory stress and hormone balance uh, you know in this way essential oils can have subtle and holistic effect on the body and i'm so grateful uh, once again to uh, you know all of the people who helped me and uh, especially annelies and susan mm, otherwise i couldn't have known the the effects of these oils and it has become a part of uh, my life like you know in the biblical times in jesus times like how uh, i was always uh, thinking how um, how these women sustained you know mother mary or you know ruth or you know deborah 
or Rebecca, all these women, women of God, how they sustained what we are going through, they would have gone through more. So then I thought like, yeah, these essential oils help them to cope in their daily lives, everything from emotions, from pains, from, uh, you know, healing, from, from their prayer life, you know, the, the concentration, uh, the dedication, uh, everything, the supplements, what they needed, God provided them naturally uh, through these essential oils. I'm, I'm so happy that, you know, you, you guys, you guys, uh, you know, took me as part of your journey in these essential oils. And I try my best to, to uh, reach people, you know, give them the knowledge of essential oils in the Bible. And, you know, at the same time, uh, getting them through the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not about, uh, you know, using oils or, uh, you know, just uh, coming to the Lord uh, for a healing, but I want them to know about the healing of their soul and also why Jesus was born on this earth and how did he, you know, live his life on the earth? Why did he die for us? And why did he rose again that a beautiful hope for us that we are also going to rise up one day when he when when he is coming back along with him we will be going to eternity that is the aroma of christ you know we have to carry that purpose that aroma the essential oil aroma i will say jesus is the aroma of our lives you know when when we carry him when we when we carry his presence of course, people, when we apply these essential oils and go into the public or when we sit in the midst of the people, they're going to ask us, what is this beautiful aroma that you are carrying? So that I can, I can introduce myself. Yeah, I'm carrying this aroma along with the aroma of Christ. <laughs> Come and join with the, with the essential oil family so that we can rise up and give glory and honor to the, uh, to the God that we serve. Thank you so much, and I'm going to and I'm going to you know give this uh, 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 to Hukeleli, and she will be explaining more about uh, you know oils and how I think it's right, Nona. I think she'll be explaining how these oils are used in her in her day-to-day -day life and in her ministry and in her you know life as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm sorry if there are any mistakes. <laughs> Hello. Hello, yeah. I'm so glad that uh, he did. And uh, I believe that, I believe that who all are here will have no more viruses and bacteria in our body because you are, you have aroma of Christ. You have this essential, but there are essential oils. So when you use, it definitely kills viruses in our body. It kills bacteria in our body. So clean that we all have a, a, like a, a here without bacteria and viruses in our body. Right? Now here, yes, they are unique and a powerful oils that kills viruses and bacteria. They easily pass through the de uh, dermal layers of the skin. They are observed directly into the bloodstream barrier and uh, penetrates the cell membrane essentially. They are accessible and transferable to the body. Let us see the, the grades of essential oils. And we shall also see why CPTG. C, C, let us see, C, C for certified, P for pure, T for uh, tested, and G for grade. Certified pure tested grade. Essential oils are sourced for, from uh, indigenous region throughout the world. These oils are not an ordinary oils, but collected and a source from indigenous regions throughout the world. 
35 years tested grade essential oils are granted to be 100% pure and 100% natural and free from synthetic compounds and uh, they are beyond organic. Certified pure tested grade essential oils are subject to vigorous third party laboratory testing to ensure purity and potency. See, we can use it in a, a three ways. In a three ways, so we can use it for internal, we can use it in a, uh, for external and aromatic manner. So like um, we can use it for internal, uh, only CPT essential oils are taken internally. We can directly use it and put it in our mouth. We can use it in a vegiga, and we can also use it uh, with me, uh, with the, uh, along with water. And uh, if we feel uh, get confused, we can also confirm with doTERRA.com. So it will help you so much. Second way of use of uh, these oils, use an essential oil in a diffuser or you can uh, drop in your hands of your palm and uh, enhance it, inhale it directly and it will cleanse the ear, open airways and affect mood. It will help you so much. So that is the reason I use so much in this, uh, as I have this diffuser. So this helps so much and it helps our health. And also we can also uh, uh, use it for like our bottom, like apply to bottom of feet. Can an intercirculatory system within 30 seconds. It's like an imagine, like a, a amazing oil. It is, it is amazing oil for us and apply to localized area. Dilute with uh, carrier oil, such as fractionated coconut oil as uh, needed. So these are very important. You can use them in different ways, in three, especially in three ways. See, we see here fragrances. Fragrances, I see this is really slowly when I search this, this is a traditional oil. This is uh, a biblical oil. And this is our forefathers during those weather days. It was very, very precious oil. And that had been used for Jesus. Also, this is very like well, good for like uh, when this we go for analyze analyze uh, this for studies and these cancer studies. And this is good for anti-depressions, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory. It supports the human, immune system. When in doubts, just use it. It will help you a lot, so much, so much. So how to use them, apply them, apply it on the, on the spot, uh, the area where you are, you are need. Internal with warm water also. This is very nice. And kinds of kinds of cancers, it is very, very useful. So this fragrance oil is very, very useful. Every kinds of sickness. And you can use for topical also. And importantly, this oil was one of the third wise men at Jesus' birth at Bethlehem in Judea. It was very good. So you can make use of this. This is very good. As I have gone through this mer oil, even this, even uh, it gives it gives us longevity. This is how I studied. It gives us longevity. It gives like it helps us in anti-cancer studies. Liquid band eight, and also this is good for mouth ulcers. Sore throat so, uh, supports healing to skin, hemorrhoids. So these are very useful. This oil is very good. As we know in terms of religious matters also, it was used for Jesus' tongue for the purpose of smell strong in, in the tongue. 
And same way, in the same way, during the olden times, it was useful oil. It was useful oil and precious oil. This oil, this oil was uh, for antiseptics also, antiseptics medicines, and smell strong. And we can use it for cosmetic also, cosmetic purpose also. And this beauty of beauty of mare oil for preservative also. You can use it because it has a man proposed and a beautiful oil. We see lavender here. Lavender, um, it helps as I have this experience. It is not only written, but written over here, but it is really even in our practical also. This is very good for headaches. And it helps in, um, uh, like, uh, in uh, the wounds, burns, cuts wounds, insects bites, stings, and uh, for skins. And also it relaxes us, us reduce relaxations. And uh, rela uh, it re like uh, when we can't sleep, we can make use of this. You can smell and you can uh, use for children also. Let them smell and uh, just... Um, good for allergies, powerful, and also this is, is very good. Apart from this thing, uh, from this um, sickness, through my experience using lavender, lavender is an amazing oil and the blessed oil, I should say. Uh, the, this lavender also very excellent oil for women's blend. Women for women's health, it is very nice. That is all about through my own experience. Lavender essential oil supports the immune system also. The, it uh, helps nervous system. It, uh, it also helps cardiovascular system. Lavender oil helps, helps skin and scalp looking, looking clean and uh, irritations and we can rest nicely. So rest full night. This is a really, really amazing oil. So it was used even during, during those weather days and even now we can use, and I really love it. We see oh, sandalwood here. Sandalwood oil is a traditional oil. Sandalwood helps heal wounds and scars, tissues, and de-cancer studies and uh, infl for inflammatory and for aging. And this is very effective and helpful and a healing, um, uh, healing oils for bladder infection and also for sore throats and depressions. And this is very good for, we can make like uh, even in, during those wet days, it was useful to, for making smoke, for making sm smoke. We can make smoke for the sweet smell in our living home also, even today, for the health concern. It's also very good for mosquito repellence. Uh, repellence. Very importantly, during the olden days, sandalwood was used for the important purpose. It was used for important purpose. How they use, and it was makes most in temple area, you know. It was used for temple area, max smokes in temple area. That was not just to make smoke, but it was an important reason behind because, because our God, the God of holiest, in full of thanksgiving, in full of worship moods, it was really, really amazing oils. And it was just used for important, important reason, important occasion in a temple area and uh, near the altars. So it was very, very, very oil, a good oil and important oil. Cypress, Cypress oil is something very unique oil. It is something very unique oil. When we gone through this script, and when I studied for this uh, cypress oil, it has so many, so many, uh, many ways we can use. Like uh, cypress trees can live to be uh, 400 years old. 
it regulates blood flow, control nose bleeds, menstrual veins and exercise bleeding and a strengthening to the circulatory system, increase white blood cell production, enhance immune support. These are very important no, for every one of us. And we did not know what is Cypress oil, but it was an olden times oil. And uh, as they started and as they prove and they, as they know this, we came to know this and we are so blessed. We don't need to we don't need to think about our oil that the oil we kept at home. I believe you are not keeping them quietly somewhere in the drawer or somewhere else in your home, but just introduce them. These oils are very this oil is very important. And these are these oils are very important. There are so many uh, so many people who are having like these problems. People having like uh, people who are having nosebleeds and menstruation problem. When we sit with them and I share with them and I share about this uh, uh, menstruation menstrual problem and excessive bleeding, there are so many. There are so many. So we instead of keeping quiet, we need to go next door by door and we need to share. We can help this, we can many help so many people by using this. Please help them. I believe that we are doing that. See, when we see cassia, cassia is very good. Cassia is very good. Cassia uh, relates to uh, cinnamon oil, cinnamon. It reduces. When we take, take seed, it reduces blood glucose. Studies for two other, uh, type two diabetes, uh, colds, fever, and flu, we can use them. And for inflammatory, we can use them. And uh, viral, antiviral, this is very nice. And a uh, bacteria, we can, uh, it, it kills bacteria. So this is very nice. It was also used for very important purpose during the olden days. And it, Israelites had to use as so much purposefully and if a, a, a purposeful program uh, plant and in uh, important places. This is very nice. Cassia also used for her uh, hernia, joint pain, and uh, menopause uh, symptoms, and uh, menstrual problems also we can use it. Also cassia, uh, cassia cinnamon is also used for chest pain and kidney disorders, high, high blood pressure, and uh, cancers. These oils also can apply to skin to for mosquito repellents. So this oil is very useful. Use them. Then only we can learn what is this, and the, the quality and quality and the specialties of cassia. This is how I came to know, and I really remember my like my forefathers, those were the days during the time of Egyptian, during the time of Israel's. I remember them, and I praise God. See, here we have a wonderful oil called Roman Chimomili. So this is, uh, it helps uh, depression. It helps de depression and restless leg and uh, nervous pain, inflammation. We can use for fatigue time also. This is really, we can't express uh, with words, but uh, this is really useful when we smell, smell it and use for, you know, uh, uh, this oil, muscle spans, cramps, tensions, and uh, when we can't sleep, parasites, and uh, skin's problems, all these things, you can apply it. This is very, very precious oil. This, uh, this man, this, this man is a wonderful oil that we have now. Say we are blessed, we are blessed people that we got this, uh, we got this oil and we discovered this oil. How this oil we, that we have? The garden of just men. By angels on this 40, on his 40 day fast in the wilderness and also the, in the garden of just men, which was believed to be the the, the garden of just men. 
The boulder that was placed in front of the tomb was believed to be one of the boulders that was used to crush the jasmine flowers to extract the oil, leaving the sense of jasmine oil on the boulder. Such a wonderful oil that we have. This oil, the exquisite uh, uh, aroma of jasmine flowers, flowers encourages feelings of romance, feelings of uh, eu euphoria, feeling of feelings of joy and feeling of splendor. So when we use this, this is like uh, some. This oil is some kind of making relationship. It is almost close to a counselor, like. When you use it and when we inhale it, this makes us comfort and joy and splendors and we go, especially it is not, this oil is not a proper, made uh, for the purpose of sexually immorality, but this oil is prepared for a, to have a good relationship between even for husband and wife. And this is very good for, uh, for family making. So this is, this oil is a wonderful, oil so you can make use of this and this is an amazing oil here we see dodera deep blue dodera deep blue sweeting blinks exactly this is a, this is a sweeting blinks that prepare for us advertise and a joint muscle spins sweeting inflammatory and a back pain and um, a carpal tunnel pain, exercise pains, soreness and sports injury, and any kinds of uh, like uh, when uh, you get or you got an uh, injury and a brace, got brace, you can apply it. Definitely in two, three, in, even in two, three minutes, it takes action and it gets relief. So this is very, very, very good oil like um, um, blinks. And along with this, you can also, if you want, if you want to uh, combine with them, blue tens also you can do, and uh, heli heli uh, helichrysum also is, uh, you can do, and uh, asmantus and a peppermint and a winter greens. I combine with them, with, with it, and I use them, and uh, you can also use them together also. This is very, very good for uh, for massaging and we use for out, uh, external. Here we see doTERRA digestin, zin gas, whole zin gas, digestive blinks. Exactly, this is very nice. Ex um, this is studies for acid reflex, indigestions, abdomen pain, diarrhea, constipation, irritable bowel. This is really amazing, okay? This is very nice, uh, like especially in related to our internal. So I have so many testimony with this uh, zin gas. This oil, this oil, it helps in any times. We cannot predict what will uh, when uh, things will happen, but any things like uh, this uh, in uh, stomach issues, you can use this. When we feel vomit, we smell this. It gets healed, like one stomach pain and uh, like uh, diarrhea, and uh, when we, your stomach feel uh, get upset, use this, and you can use in two three ways. Like you can use for uh, um, abdomen area like uh, for internal, like uh, outside, or you can enhance, you can also put with water also, water, warm water also, you can use it, but it takes action in a minute also. It is such a wonderful blessed oil that we have because God blessed us. This is how I have meditated. This is how I'm thinking. We can use it for both internal and ex external, okay? So this is very good. Now we have doTERRA breed, so-called easier. This is a respiratory blind. Respiratory blind. Asthma, this is for asthma, opens airways and sinus. Apply to chest, chest and uh, 
bottoms of feet for seasonal allergy support, respiratory discomfort, and also you can use it like uh, even extracts uh, like a uh, uh, practical eye wind. So you can use it just for like uh, you can oil on uh, the, above the hair and um, nozzle and uh, you can just uh, oil applied on your forehead or you can tell them when you, they can uh, put it into, into a ruler bottle and uh, just let them smell anytime. You can, they can also put it in, uh, in the warm water and they let them drink. So it is very nice. It is very nice. And I have so many experience with this amazing oil. This is how God created for us. Dotera, Glory come. This is specially women's blend, but it is not that it is restricted to men. But everybody can use it. But this is uh, prepare prepare purposely for women's blend. So natural perfume and uh, depression. This is good for depression and uh, restless tensions, regulates hormones and a, a like a floral feminine aroma. It has floral aroma and uh, contributes to a, a nurturing massage as part of a self care and also a cooling and soothing on skin. Wonderful for that time of month. So it is very nice as we use this, it helps us so much. And we, a new way we go, we take this in a bag and any time when we smell this, and there is no time to use this, there is no time uh, like a time double made for the, to use this. But any time we can use this, and it is really wonderful. And you can smell it, and we can also use for uh, down part of abdomen. And uh, this is very good. This is very good. So uh, you can uh, you we can generate it to uh, our neighbors and women who are struggling with. Uh, menstruation and struggling is wonderful that like a time when the time comes for mom. On guard that we have seen, it is truly, truly, truly protective blend. It was very like especially it was very, very helpful during the time of corona. And uh, through my experience, I have this I, I have this experience, uh, this oil is a wonderful uh, blend, I mean a oil that we have. The area, this is especially for the area where no comfortable and uh, like uh, uh, for get, big gathering and for wedding and for meeting for church. This, this oil is very good, oregano oil is very good. This is a protective blend. It supports healthy immune system and a respiratory function when used internally and also ingest to support the body's uh, natural antioxidant defenses, powerful surfaces cleanser, energizing and uplifting aroma diffused to right airborne pathogens. This is very wonderful. And uh, during this time, I use it and uh, uh, this is my eight months running, uh, like working with the uh, doTERRA. So I'm using and this use, this oil is very helpful for me. Actually, I used to put it applied in my vehicle, inside a vehicle, so that uh, uh, it helps me a lot. And uh, uh, actually situation uh, compel to use mask. So I see everyone wearing mask. So it is of, of no use why we are wearing mask. Some people uh, wear mask and run in the morning I see them wearing mask. But just, I wonder, but as for me, I use this um, on guard and uh, just instead of wearing mask, I, I use applied just one drop, 
just a drop in my mouth and that's enough for whole day. And I also just apply one, just one drop in my mask and in my family members mask and they go out and smell when they wear mask, it is really, really amazing smell. So that helps them. It will never affect anything else, but rather it kills by bacteria and a virus the coronaviruses or any kinds of virus, it kills so much. So this is very helpful. So you can use them. You use it for vehicle, inside a vehicle, mask, and you can also use for a diffuser. Anywhere I go for ministry and a gathering, I use um, what, what else? Um, diffuser and apply this. And once it started, this is quite enough. So this is very nice. So try to use this also. There is a wonderful things, uh, two things are there, two oils. Well, like uh, the, glad, the oils of gladness, sandalwood and cassia. So those were the days the Israelites played the lair, sing, dance, and uh, uh, burn incense of sandalwood and cassia in the temples area, in the temples to slow, to show love, devotion, praise, and appear rejoicing as a form of worship to God. So it was very, these two oils were very, very important, important uh, that they had been using inside the temple and uh, to uh, make them fresh, to make them make uh, smell sweet. So it was very, this, uh, how called uh, the, the oils of gladness as a diffuser blend. So use them, this is very nice. And I also thank, thank um, Anile and uh, Joyce for supporting me and uh, uh, Suzanne and Becky for supporting me, preparing all these things. When I do not know all these things, they help me to find these things so that I could uh, study more and more and uh, learn far better. So uh, I learned so much and I'm blessed. And as I blessed, you have, you have also blessed the same. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joy. I, I, I'm so, you know, humbled and I, I kind of went very deep when you all both presented because I think something that also struck, struck me was when I meditate and when I pray, it's always the feeling, right, of, of having Jesus near me. So that's how I would experience my, you know, my Lord. Today, I know when I go back, I'm going to smell him. <laughs> I'm going to have the aroma of Jesus. I had never, ever thought of that. And Jasmine has taken a whole new, you know, a whole new world on for me, Kelly. So beautiful. It's, it's like to connect it to Gethsemane. It's just amazing. Thank you both so much for the research all have put in, for sharing so much with us. Thank you, Becky, for putting our deck together as well. So what I want to just wrap up for, for us here tonight uh, and whatever else, whatever time you're watching this presentation is think about this, okay? Think about you in your present day, your, your ministry, you know, your family. Where do you see there being a need for a little more help, a little more support for your health? I was talking to Hukeli and Joy about, you know, this presentation and we're looking at it from the, the biblical lens. I mean, you, you were meant to be healthy. You were born to be well. And Joy said that in her section of the presentation, that it's just things that you expose yourself to physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, that tends to then upset that inner, inner spirit. So take a little, just a few minutes, okay? So write this down on a sheet of paper. What do you want to feel less of? What do you want to feel more of? This can be, as I said, for you, for someone you really, really care about, someone in your family. It can be for someone in your church. It can be as part of a larger part of your ministry. So I'm going to quickly go past some of our slides 
So it re, you know, rejigs your memory of all that Ukele and Sheila uh, Joy shared with us. So just keep your pens and paper ready. Write down what you feel you want more of, what you want to feel less of. And these were the oil choices they talked about. Just doing a very quick rewind. And remember, you can always reach out to anyone on the doTERRA team. You can reach out specifically to Joy or to Hukeli for more, you know, biblical insight. And then how do you get, you know, how do you get these oils? You, number one, you can get them through any, you know, any of the wellness advocates that are on the group today. The one who invited you will be the one to best guide you as to what you need, what all would support you. Please remember, do not buy, and I'll repeat this, please do not buy doTERRA oils on Amazon. It is not the real stuff. It could possibly be diluted. It can be very, very overpriced. So very compliant, you know, wellness advocate will be consulting, guiding, teaching. As Kelly said, you want to share it with your neighbors. You want to share it with your friends, with your church. So that is part of our ministry. Our ministry is to be able to heal the world one drop at a time. So if you're, you know, if you're looking to, to take care of your own family's health, to be able to switch to more natural solutions like we've been talking about, and to be able to tap into the wisdom that has been, you know, for ages past, biblical wisdom, you can get your own membership. You can get your own wellness membership. It's a wholesale membership. And you get the same oils that you might be able to get from one of us at your 25% discount. So anything you buy then is a 25% off. Plus there is the loyalty rewards program that I will tell you about very, very shortly. If you are called to do what we do, if you are called to be able to, again, nurture, guide, study deeper, you don't have to know everything right now. I mean, Joy didn't know as much about biblical oils when she started off, but she had the passion and she had the calling on her heart, as did with Kelly. I mean, I didn't know half as much as I know today, <laughs> thanks to them. So if you want to be one of us and you want to join the Dodera family in India, there is such a beautiful support system by Becky, Larry, and, you know, Suzanne. They've nurtured us, they've mentored us. And this is, a, this is a very, you know, I'm going to show you a slide also that talks about how it can support you financially, especially if you're looking to create something that is more, um, you know, more holistic in your, uh, in your approach. So these are some of the enrollment kits that we have that you can start with. These are what we now currently source from Malaysia. So again, speak to the person who invited you here and they will be able to guide you and point you in the right direction. This is the loyalty rewards program I was talking about. So if you are a wholesale member or when, when you sign up, you have the option to take this. And I would highly recommend you do because number one, not only do you get your 25% off on the oil, but you get points back for every purchase. And these are points accumulate you know, for uh, the month on month that you stay with the program to such an extent that at, at some point you get almost 55% off on your oil. And that's a steal. That's a steal to be able to, you know, like Katie and Joy said, we use these oils every day. It's not stuck in a drawer. And you want to learn about the oil. You want to share the oil. You want to be able to heal and help people on their journey. Women, you know, suffering with, with menstrual discomfort families suffering with discontent you know you know what you, you know what your 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 church people need and then why are we speaking to you know to us in ministry is because we know that this is something that can enhance enhance your um, your ministry your prayer ministry your healing ministry so you know Speak to the person who invited you. They will ask for these details and help you enroll with doTERRA today. 
this is what our you know our hope is for you if you are looking to get more stable financially stable then you know you're looking to build a pipeline and what i love about doTERRA and the first thing that struck me when i spoke to suzanne was the transparency of the business the you know the it's plug and play you do not have to reinvent the wheel so you know for a for a minimum of about say 7500 every month is the cost of maybe running your doTERRA business your own mini doTERRA franchise that's all is required of you you spend a hundred dollars approximately every month and you're able to you know get commissions from people in your downline you'll be you're able to also get a whole lot of different bonuses so all of this is taught all of this is supported so i was i was chatting with hukeli just before we we recorded and she was saying that when it even comes to the business her view is purely healing purely sharing and that really touched my soul just keep sharing she said just keep sharing with people right joy yeah and that's i mean and they you know build it up and they will come is the is the phrase right so why do i personally work with doTERRA no doubt i mean it's the quality it's the the testing that they run their oils through it's the integrity of the company these founders have spirit and they have mission and they work to not just you know build us up as advocates so that we are financially stable but they're building sustainable livelihoods across the world i wanted to be part of that mission so this is this is the doTERRA you know mission this is the doTERRA dream so you know i'm really hoping that we see more of you you know join our family this is where we meet every thursday on monday evenings we have a business class where you know you're taken through these um, these business aspects of the, um, uh, um, in, in the coaching. So it'll show you, you know, how you can work uh, with doTERRA, what kind of commissions you earn, what is your fast start bonus, what is your power of three, how do you move people in, uh, in your network, how do you grow your network and grow the people under you. So again, very, very, very solid. If you, if you look back here, the retention rate for doTERRA is 65%, which is, you know, is not something that everyone has been able to achieve in the MLM space. And we've been around for coming up to 13 years. So, you know, this is a business that I trust. I trust and I've been uh, with the team for a year and a half now. So, you know, we're coming into India, fingers crossed, end of the year, early next year. And we really want to build this solid team the voice, you know, the voice of people that are speaking holistic natural solutions for your families. And if you, you know, if you are able to join us and you, you know, you, you have a certain volume of business, you stand to enter the Founders Club. Now, this is something that when, you know, Joy and I were attending one of our Thursday classes, we were like, oh my gosh, we got to be there. <laughs> so, you know, have that vision. It's 1% of the annual commissionable volume of doTERRA India's you know, business. Now, isn't that passive income? Isn't that laying a pipeline? Imagine what one can do with the income one receives that way, what kind of paying forward one can do with that amount of sustainable income. So bless all of you, bless all of you. Thank you for being on this presentation. Please, please reach out. And if there are any questions, if there's time this evening, you know, we stay back and we take questions. Thank you, Hukeli. Thank you, Sheila. We all we call her Joy, but <laughs> you see her as Sheila over here. Good night, everyone. Thank you.